Good morning, dear students. Today we shall begin with the fourth part of the chapter Sectors of Indian Economy. In the previous part, you had seen that uh, what is the GDP contribution of the three sectors, and although uh, the primary sector contributes the least in the GDP, even then, majority of the population is engaged in primary sector because not enough employment is created in the other two sectors so let us proceed the topic for today is how to create more employment so first we shall read the content of the book and then we will summarize whatever has been mentioned in that uh, content so from the above discussion that we had already uh, discussed in the previous class, we can see that there continues to be considerable unemployment in agriculture. There are also people who are not employed at all. In what ways can one increase employment for people? Let us look at some of them. Take the case of Lakshmi with her 2 hectare plot of unirrigated land. The government can spend some money or bank can provide a loan to construct a well for her family to irrigate the land. Lakshmi will then be able to irrigate her land and take a second crop wheat during the Rabi season. Let us suppose that one hectare of wheat can provide employment to two people for 50 days, including sowing, watering, fertilizers, uh, application and harvesting. So two more members of the family can be employed in her own field. Now suppose a new dam is constructed and canals are dug to irrigate many such farms. This could lead to a lot of employment generation within the agricultural sector itself, reducing the problem of unemployment. So till now, it has been said that if the government provides fin financial support, then Lakshmi will be able to grow more crop. And if there are uh, various other non-farm activities uh, such as construction of dams and canals are uh, taken up by the government, then more amount of employment will be generated and it will reduce the problem of unemployment. So moving on, now suppose Lakshmi and other farmers produce much more than before. They would also need to sell some of this. For this, they may be required to transport their products to a nearby town. If the government invests some money in transportation and storage of crops or make better rural roads so that mini trucks reach everywhere, several farmers like Lakshmi who now have access to water can continue to grow and sell these crops. This activity can provide productive employment to not just farmers but also others such as those in services like transport or trade. So uh, over here Various other kinds of employment opportunities have been uh, mentioned such as if transportation facility is provided to the farmers or storage facility is provided to them, then it will definitely create uh, employment for other people. Apart from that, uh, there are various other kinds of uh, employment as well which uh, the individuals who are not farmers can take up. Lakshmi's need is not confined to water alone. To cultivate the land, she also needs seeds, fertilizers, agricultural equipments and pump sets to draw water. Being a poor farmer, she cannot afford many of these. So, 
she will have to borrow money from money lenders and pay a high rate of interest if the local bank gives her credit at a reasonable rate of interest she will be able to buy all these in time and cultivate her land this means that along with water we also need to provide cheap agricultural credit to the farmers for farming to improve so uh, over here they have said that uh, apart from water there are various other requirements uh, for a farmer such as fertilizers or uh, seeds or equipments and all these uh, things are required to be produced and in order to produce all these uh, in inputs of uh, agricultural uh, output employment will be generated so that is also important and again they have mentioned about the credit facilities if credit facilities are provided then the farmers will be able to uh, cultivate their land with uh, better facilities with a greater amount of input another way by which we can tackle this problem is to identify promote and locate industries and services in semi rural areas where a large number of people may be employed for instance suppose many farmers decide to grow arhar and chickpea setting up a dal mill to procure and process these and sell in the cities is one such example opening a cold storage could give an opportunity for farmers to store their products like potatoes and onions and sell them when the price is good in villages near forest areas we can start honey collection centers where farmers can come and sell wild honey it is also possible to set up industries that process vegetables and agricultural produce like potato sweet potato rice wheat tomato fruits which can be sold in outside market this will provide employment in industries located in semi rural areas and in not necessarily in large urban centers so there are few more options that have been mentioned over here such as uh, opening up of uh, small scale industries or opening of cold storage or uh, even um, opening up of uh, honey collection center all these can be done to generate employment in rural areas do you know that in india there are about 200 million children in the school going age group out of this only 2/3 are attending schools the rest are not they may be at home or many of them may be working as child laborers if these children are to attend schools we will require more buildings more teachers and other staffs a study conducted by the planning commission estimates that nearly 20 lakh jobs can be created in the education sector alone similarly if we are to improve the health situation we need many more doctors nurses health workers etc to work in rural areas these are some ways by which jobs would be created and we would also be able to address the important aspect of development talked about in chapter 1 so over here they are saying that since uh, the literacy rate is quite low in many of the states in india so if uh, education is promoted then in order to educate those uh, uneducated children there will be at least requirement of 20 lakh jobs and as a result uh, many of the population will get uh, employed and apart from that even healthcare sector is to be uh, boosted 
in rural area if uh, health facilities are provided then many job opportunities will be created in the form of doctors nurses and health workers etc so uh, these are also a kind of opportunity to generate employment every state or region has potential for increasing the income and employment for people in that area it could be tourism or regional craft industry or new services like it some of these would require proper planning and support from the government for example the same study by the planning commission says that if tourism as a sector is improved every year we can give additional employment to more than 35 lakh people so uh, over here they are talking about service sector in service sector various uh, areas are there such as tourism and uh, it and it has got huge potential to create employment and as they have uh, mentioned over here that about 35 lakh people can be employed in tourism sector only so uh, it is a very very vast market and many employment opportunities can be created over here so um, more employment can be generated in primary and secondary sectors through the following measures so all these points uh, are stating the same thing that you have uh, studied just now so i'll be reading it out the first one is promoting rural non farm activities such as trading transportation storage dairy etc so promotion of non farm activities like trading buying and selling of the agricultural output or transportation of uh, agricultural output from one place to another or its storage uh, such as cold storage is required uh, for vegetables to keep and it can be sold in off season at a higher price so all these uh, activities can be promoted to generate employment the second point is encouragement to small scale and cottage industries such as mills regional handicrafts etc this is also very important if uh, more number of mills are opened more employment will be generated the third point is easy availability of credit to farmers artisans and other self employed person a self employed person is the one who generates employment for himself or herself so such a person needs a credit in order to you know uh, put the input in their business and uh, produce something some goods and sell it in the market so all those self employed people it can be a farmer who is farming in their land uh, it can be an artisan who is uh, probably making uh, the local craft such as making baskets or uh, you know bags or something like that all these people require credit they require money so that they can put it in their business and uh, produce various goods and services and sell it in the market for profit so credit should be easily available besides these to create more employment opportunities in service sector following measures should be taken the first one is information and technology sector be strengthened which includes computer related jobs telecommunication call centers etc so uh, it sector is to be boosted so that more opportunity is created in fact it is being created in the form of these uh, call centers there are many call centers in india which outsource the work whatever uh, they are doing they take calls from different other countries so in this way employment is created 
the second point is employment potential in education sector can be realized by opening up more schools in rural area it will not only benefit the people who gains employment in this uh, educational sector apart from that it will also elevate the literacy rate of india the third point is employment potential in health sector can be realized by opening more health centers in rural and sub urban areas so there are various uh, individual who can work in health sector just now i have told you doctors nurses health workers and all so employment can be created in health sector as well to realize the potential in tourism sector more hotels restaurants amusement parks etc should be opened so uh, just now we read that about 35 lakh uh, job opportunities can be created and it can be created by opening up various hotels and amusement parks and uh, restaurants etc the next point is there is a great scope of employment in air transport rail transport and road transport so transportation has also got a great potential to generate employment the next point is employment potential in other service areas such as banking insurance old age homes advertising child care center uh, entertainment etc have enough scope if they are expanded in rural and sub urban areas so there are various other service um, areas as well where employment can be generated and it is very vast uh, it varies from a child care center to the entertainment sector or banking so it can be expanded employment can be generated if these service areas are not only confined to the urban areas but they try to reach out to the sub urban areas and the rural areas so there is this very important act known as manrega 2005 let us read about it the central government in india made a law implementing the right to work in about 625 districts of india it is called mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2005 so the central government has made uh, this law under the uh, article of right to work and it is implemented in about 625 districts of india under mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2005 all those who are able to and are in need of work in rural area are guaranteed 100 days of employment in a year by the government so under this act this act focuses on rural area so under this act the rural people who are willing to work they are given 100 days of guaranteed employment if the government fails to provide employment then he or she will be given unemployment allowance which can be one third of the wage rate so if the government is not having any work for an individual who is willing to work then the government is supposed to give an unemployment allowance which is one third of the wage rate the type of work that would help to increase the production from land is given preference under this act so all those activities which will help to increase the production of land that particular uh, work is given preference so this particular act that that is manrega it is a Uh, an act which provides short term employment to individuals who are willing to work and are not having any other work to do so these are the assignment questions why do you think 
Manrega 2005 is referred to as right to work. How would income and employment increase if farmers were provided with irrigation and marketing facilities? The third question is in what ways can employment be increased in urban areas? So you are supposed to complete all these uh, questions and answers and that is it for today. Thank you.